To illustrate this principle that there are limits to how much something can change, consider the example of going to a dog breeder and saying, can you breed me a dog with a very, very long neck? So I can call this dog a giraffe dog. Um, I've, I've got a Labrador at home and it would be amazing if he could have a, a neck like a giraffe. But the dog breeder will say to you, I can breed a dog with quite a long neck, but as soon as it gets to a certain level, it can't get any longer. There's always a limit to change. So this idea that you can just carry on evolving something and getting a very, very long neck, that just doesn't happen in practice. Well, what breeders will tell you is if you do try to produce an extreme feature, like a very long neck or very, very long legs, often you run into problems and uh, the dog suffers in some way. It's not actually good for a dog to exaggerate a certain trait too much. Uh, so that's another evidence against uh, a feature like a neck becoming very, very long on, on, on a creature. If you went to a, a dog breeder and, and said, can you um, breed me a very, very long neck? What the dog breeder will, will say is, not only is there a limit to how long that neck can get, but if you do try to exaggerate a trait, it will often turn out to be unhealthy for the dog and that dog will be less likely to survive. Uh, so that's another evidence against uh, the evolution of the giraffe's neck.